Hey, what's up everyone? This is the latest update for my 3D animated t-shirt mock-up. For those of you who are seeing this for the first time and haven't uh, seen the previous versions, what this is, is a animated t-shirt that uh, is able to have designs tracked onto it in After Effects. It's a simple drag and drop uh, template. So you have a front view, a back view, and some angles from the front and the back here. And for those of you who know the previous versions, um, I've added um, some new features. For example, this static front view with just some st subtle wind <laughs> animation and the same for the back view. Another thing which has changed from previous versions is the hymns I've made quite a bit smaller um, and more realistic looking. The textures on the previous hymns were a bit uh, unrealistically reflective and it kind of looked a bit like plastic. So I fixed that. And also there used to be uh, these side splits on the front, which are actually not that common in t-shirts. And I had a few requests to remove those. Um, so essentially I just made it uh, a much simpler, more widely um, user-friendly t-shirt. Um, yeah, very basic that would just work with work with anything. And also, if this is the first time you're seeing this, um, you can choose the shirt color between black and white and a variable color, which allows you to use the color picker in After Effects to choose any color uh, that you need. It's also 2K resolution and it loops infinitely. So each clip uh, you can just lay next to each other if you export them and have the duration go for as long as you wish. Um, that goes for these walk cycles as well as these um, static animations with the subtle wind animation. So when you download the file, you'll get this uh, 3D animated t-shirt mockup dot zip so you must just open this and inside this folder there's a footage folder which you don't need to worry about um, just don't delete it there's just a preview video um, showing you what is contained in this uh, project what you're able to export so all the front angles back angles and these two static angles there's a readme with just some licensing information and a few uh, more detailed points on the updates. There is this uh, user guide PDF. Uh, if you don't want to actually go through this entire video and you just want a quick guide on how to get started with this, um, this is perfect. And the main file is this After Effects project file. So let's jump into this and I'll show you how to use this. So this is how the project looks when you open it. Um, by default, each view has these grids on, which is, just serves as a preview um, to show you the area that is possible to track designs onto in this, uh, in this template. So the first step is we'll add some designs that we want. See, I'll add this for the back and I'll put that on the front. So as you can see, it's quite simply laid out the first folder, edit design. Let's go to edit front and let's just disable the visibility of that grid. As I said earlier, it's just a, just a reference. And before I actually add anything, um, let's open up this folder, choose shirt color. And that's the composition that the project opens on. And I just want to lock this at the top and then let's open edit front again and drag this onto the side here. So now I can just zoom in here to the front and I'll be able to adjust uh, the design in real time 
instead of having to go back and forth between those um, compositions. So as you can see, I just dragged and dropped this and it's already showing up here. You can see wherever you put it, it uh, follows the folds and contours of this shirt. So I'll just do something like this. Yeah, so I'm happy with how this front looks. Let's edit the back design. Again, I'm gonna disable the visibility on that grid. And add this design here to the back. And let me just move down here. And just adjust this size, make this a bit bigger. Okay, yeah, I'll be happy with that. Yeah, so as you can see, it's updated across all the different angles. You don't have to update them individually. It's just the front and the back here. And then we can move on to the next step, which is actually changing the t-shirt color if you need to. So there's this control layer here in this choose shirt color composition. Make sure that's selected. Um, if you don't see this effect controls, just go to window effect controls so that when you have the control layer selected, uh, you will see these parameters. So there's a t-shirt select, simply choose between black or white or variable color where you can choose any color for the shirt. In this case, I'm just going to stick with black and that's really it. We can now render any of these uh, compositions. So in this case, I'm just going to render the front here. You can, of course, change the resolution, um, like the, something like 1080 by 1920. If you're doing like a Instagram reel or TikTok video and you want the resolution to be correct straight out of here, um, I'm just gonna keep it keep it like this and by default the background is transparent so you can either let me just add a background here so you can either add a background here in the export stage it's just some VHS noise or you can just um, export it with transparency so to export with transparency go to file export add to render queue and just choose the lossless with alpha option and that'll export this as a mov or avi if you're on windows uh, with the transparency information um, in case you want to you know add this to a different project and add the background in late at a later stage um, but in this case let's just export it like this with the background already there and i'm going to say file export add to render queue and just delete that first one and i'm just going to stick with the standard preset for the output module um, 15 megabytes per second h264 so that'll give me an mp4 and make sure that the render settings are at best settings because we want the full resolution here um, which is 2k so 200 2048 pixels by 2048 pixels so i'm just going to render this out I'll just save it here. Okay, so I dragged in this export I just made. So it's perfectly looped. So if I wanted to make this composition a bit longer, I can literally just extend it like this one off the other. And as you can see at this point, it loops perfectly so you can make this as long as you want. So this isn't a perfect loop with this uh, segment here. So let me just do that. 
yeah, that's pretty much it. It's uh, very simple. I've tried to make this as user-friendly as possible um, and useful as possible so that you can get these out within five minutes or less. Uh, but if you have any more questions or unsure about something, I'm always available. So you can email me at info at tylerbrooks.media. You can fill out the contact form on my website or you can DM me on Instagram, whatever works best for you. I'd really appreciate it if you give me a follow on Instagram, keep up to date with my art and new products, etc. And I hope that this is useful for you and good luck with your projects. <music>